Today I'm going to be demonstrating its cleaning power on some hard floors, protein powder, and some chips, and then I'll move on to the simulated carpet with some protein powder and chips also. Let's see how well this thing goes. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's picking up every single one, it's not leaving a trail or anything. As you can see, the path it went on, it basically cleaned up every single thing. With a lot of the robo vacuums, especially with the bigger pieces, they kind of tend to knock it away. So it's good they didn't really knock anything away, but just to suck everything up and clean it very nicely. Now I'm going to move on to the carpet cleaning and see how well this cleans this. So you can detect that it was a big mess, so it went over all around it, not just going straight. As you can see, the carpet cleaning is pretty good. You can see some spots that I didn't go over, but uh, with the spots that did go over, uh, pretty much everything uh, was cleaned up. All the protein powder uh, is basically gone from the carpet, so we're going to move on to the chip test. So as, as you can see, it's picking it up. It's trying to get everything in one go. It's not just going in a straight line. It's a bit more intelligent than that. And as you can see, for the parts that did clean up, they're right here where there's no chips at all. It's just this part, it didn't really go over. It's moving on to um, the side and then coming back to clean it up. And as you can see, look at that. Every single chip that is in its path is being picked up. Very nice, look at it. There is nothing left, there's no chips left. So this is probably in terms of cleaning power, in terms of suction, this is probably the best robo vacuum I have had ever. Coming back around to finish the job. Going up and picking that piece as well. There you go, there's nothing left. Let's see how well this object uh, navigation avoidance system works. It's coming up on a bump. Goes around it, pretty good. Coming up on an area, knows that it's there. Didn't even have to hit the wall. Goes away from the wall. Goes above the carpet. Avoids the table, pretty good. Goes back and that, that navigation is pretty good so far. Didn't even need to hit the suitcase before he knows it was there. So this AI detection is pretty good. Avoids the obstacle even before hitting it. Very good, very nice. This is much better than a lot of the other vacuums I've tested. See how well it returns to the dock. I've hit the return to dock button, following in it then turns around because the charger is at the back of the vacuum. Slowly backs it up. And there you go. And once in here, it will automatically, like this, automatically drain the, all the dust and particles into the uh, filter. All the dust and particles is being filled up in here. So to go over the robot's uh, functions and kind of mechanics, this is the clean, this is the dock. When you see the uh, it's connected to Wi-Fi, it will show this uh, symbol. This is where the kind of laser AI detection navigation is, as you can see. Um, this is obviously the bumper, and you move to the back. How you empty the dustbin is right here. How you empty the dustbin is right here. You click both of this, bring it out. And you see, this is where the dust goes. How you empty it, basically you pinch the two here, click on this, comes right on out, and you can kinda just empty this into the garbage can. And as you might have noticed, there is the filter right here. Really wanna take 
apart everything, there are screws in here where you can unscrew everything. These are uh, the one uh, single bristle spinners. These are little brushes and you can basically clean the brush by getting it from here and also from here. This comes out, you take this whole thing out, you can clean the brush, get detangled the hair and all that stuff. And obviously this is where the robot charges, so make sure this is clean always. Now we move on to the dustbin. How it sucks up the dust is basically down here. As you can see, this is a hole that uh, kind of suction cups in here, so make sure none of the dust go anywhere else. Blasting off because the fan is very powerful in here. It kind of generates a lot of force, so it gets sucked in here. This is where it charges. As, well, as you can see, all the kind of dust, the air filters, kind of uh, debris all in here. And down here, you got another filter. This is an air filter. You clip one down here. Pull this out and this is a piece down here as well and that's where the fan is. As you can see here, the instructions say that you can uh, wash this filter with water to kind of um, maintain the airflow so it works eff efficiently every month. Now lastly, onto the back, this is where the cable was being stored when it was shipped and this is the on off button. So that is pretty simple. So yeah, I am very impressed with how uh, kind of elegant and kind of well designed all these two packages are. So uh, and also in terms of performance, it has been great so far. So yeah, I'm highly satisfied with this.